Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. So if you saw my video on Monday, I showed you all of the gifts and goodies and yummy, lovely, amazing stuff that people had given me on the incentive trip along with the gifts from Stampin' Up. And this was the swap that Elaine Shader made and she got her own swap back, so she gave me hers. And it was beautifully folded flat and I decided I was going to make it and put Imperial uh, well use her imperial measurements and give you metric as well and actually she did set it so that you could use tape to stick it down um, but when I was putting it together to go oh, how does that work it held itself so I'm going to see if I can do the same thing um, and not have to use tape it might be just how look it's not going to hold now there we go it's holding you see so i'm going to see if i can do the same okay so she used knight of navy and the countryside in i'm using the countryside in but a different pattern i've got those done and i went for misty moonlight so it's the same but different okay so in imperial ten and a half by seven and a quarter inches in metric 26 and a half by 18 centimeters and I'm just going to scooch that back in here because we've got a joining offer on right now. It's epic. £154 worth of product for £99 or €207 Euros worth for €129. Euros. And you can join me in the UK where I live, the Netherlands, Austria, Germany, France, Belgium and Ireland. And it's going on all month. It's happening around the world. So Canada, Australia, South Pacific, which is New Zealand and Australia, it's happening there as well. I don't know what your dollars amount is, though, but chat to your local demonstrator or chat to the person you've um, been shopping with and they'll let you know. So but we've also got a paper celebration going on. We've got a sale on our paper, 15 percent off. And it's pretty much all of the papers in our annual catalogue it's also the online exclusive paper too but right goodness me so shall i just let's just let's where can i put that <laughs> i'm gonna leave it there i'll bring it back on okay so ten and a half by seven and a quarter 26 and a half by 18 i'm making myself giggle because <laughs> i've chatted for two minutes okay on the long side score it at one and a half uh four and three quarters six and a quarter and nine and a half inches in metric 4 12 16 and 24 is that right yes it is on the short side score it at half an inch two five and a quarter and six and three quarters which again in metric 1 5 13 and 17 actually i forgot to say the finished dimensions one and a half by three and a quarter by three and a quarter so you're going to fit three by three cards and envelopes in this um in metric four centimeters tall by eight by eight so again you're going to fit your little cards and envelopes in as well okay let me scooch that out of the way and start burnishing so i actually haven't made a sample this is elaine's swap and yeah, I'm running off this. I haven't tested it, but I know it's going to work. Um, and okay, I've made boxes that are three and a quarter by three and a quarter, but I don't think I've made one with a little side lip to it. Um, so it's quite nice. So I'm actually going to have to un unfold this to see where the bits are so okay so i've got a deeper bit there and there and then that's shallower so that's that section so we're going to cut away all of this bit here so when you cut these always cut straight on your rectangular bits the outer bits okay get rid of that and then we're separating that bit. So again, straight on the rectangle. I'm gonna wedge a little bit on that square. And then chop that bit off. And yet we're keeping this one. And then we're keeping the square, but I'm gonna wedge that and nick off that little bit as well. Let me just double check that is the same it is so it's going to be a repeat on the other side 
Now, I don't have a corner rounder anymore. At least I don't think I do. I think I might have put it in my box to sit with all my retired stuff in my loft for the next three years. Um, so I can't round my corners like Elaine did. But I will do something. I'm looking as I'm... I don't know if I've got a circle punch or something. And then take all of that bit away. Hmm. What can I use as a... I might just use some scissors. Let's just use these ones. So the bits I'm rounding are this bit here and then those two. So with the world's biggest scissors... <laughs> that's not bad it could have been worse <laughs> see if I can do the same here I, do you know what I watch these videos of people on TikTok and Instagram who don't have tools like us how, how far down are we oh gosh all the way from there uh, who don't have punches and tools and they are doing all their crafting with scissors and I'm like you're amazing to do that with a pair of scissors because I'm doing it with a punch. <gasps> oh, I think I did that wibbly. Um, I get a little bit addicted to those origami videos. Um, our paper isn't thin enough to be pure origami. We can do folds, obviously. Um, but yeah, I can't do full origami with 15 folds on it. Right, so let me bring this in. Okay, so we're, we're looking pretty good. I am going to put tape there like Elaine did too, um, just in case I do need to stick mine down. So that's pretty awesome. It's just two bits of tape. We're liking that. And then this is the bit where we're going to put our paper. So it's the Circle Sayings stamp set, which is Jessica Taylor's Million, um, million Sales stamp set. So this is what she designed, and this comes with, I want to say it's the two and a quarter inch punch, but I think it's, it is the two and a quarter, so why can't I see my two and a quarter inch punch? Is it two and a quarter? It is. Why? Maybe it's the two and three eighths punch. I know there's, oh, just when you take one punch out. No, because you see, that's too big. <laughs> it does come as a bundle no but you see that's right let's just measure that again shall we oh yes it's, it is that one <laughs> goodness sake it's ridiculous right I need a bit of scrap um, so I can make myself a template and I'm going to use my bit of grid paper that has all my measurements oh, I've got it stuck now It's got all the measurements where I was working out what size it was. I'm going to use that as my template. Uh, oh, my seal and everything's run out. Put that on there. There we go. So that's punched out. And... I'm going to hold it over there, grab a block, grab some misty moonlight that I've lost, oh, it's there. I'm just holding it in place because it's raised up on dimensionals, that looks like it's really on there and then I want because you're awesome where is that that's this one hold it back in place again right and now I'm going to put little mini dimensionals if I can find them here they are into the corners with my paper piercer to pick them up. 
actually, you know what? I could use big ones on this bit, couldn't I? <laughs> because the corners are visible. Let's just take that one off completely, pop it in the bin. So this is three by three, this piece of paper, the designer series paper, three by three inches, seven and a half by seven and a half centimeters. The metric, uh, sorry, the piece of white, look, I've got that wrong. Oh no, Sorrel, don't need your help. I oh, can't see through the cat. The piece of white is two and three quarters by two and three quarters of an inch, which is seven by seven centimeters. Okay, right, so that's on. And this is a lot, this, herein lies the reason why I held that in place, because that was not lined up. So I'm going to put that on there. And I need to do a bow. So that, I want to say, is... Oh, no, that is this ribbon. This is bordered ribbon in Knight of Navy. I thought it was a different one, but it's this one. God, that's a really nice bow. Can I do one that's going to do it as much justice? No, probably not. Because this is me and bows. <laughs> it's just the most ridiculous thing. Look at that. That tail is ridiculously long. Oh, now it's undone itself. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, can't I tie a bow? Oh, <laughs> My neighbor's just started mowing his lawn now. That, I'm not going to tie it, pull it any tighter or looser or smaller. My neighbor's just started mowing their lawns. This morning we had jet fighters going overhead. I don't know, maybe RAF Alconbury or somewhere like that. Um, they've been going overhead because that's been fun. So I thought, well, it's now safe to do some filming. Apparently not. There. Move the cat hair that she's just deposited as she walked past. Right, moment of truth. Can I get mine to hold together without needing to use the tape? Oh, possibly, possibly. No, and I'm going to say that that is down to the corner rounding, so I'm very glad that the option of tape is there. There we go. that that's going to stay in place because again it's I've got the corner rounding questionable no it's okay we're good I'm going to put Elaine's back together again I will make sure to link her of course because I'm not even vaguely trying to take credit for this but I think it's a really lovely project and you need to go and check her stuff out it's fabulous anyway Thank you so much for joining me, bimbling my way through that. I'm really pleased with it. I think it's lovely. Like I say, I've made boxes of this size before because they are designed to fit our three by three cards and envelopes, which obviously are bigger, or soaps. That's a very popular one. Um, you know, I still work with people who make handmade soaps and their soaps are often this size, but I've never made one with a little curve over bit. Nice to have a new one. Anyway. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.